Hi guys, back again to show you the second part of my design team project for the wonderful Tracy Fox. Uh, as usual, you know, I can do a video without something going wrong. Uh, the fairies have disappeared with my crocodile and my, uh, you know, the things that, oh goodness, you know, the things that goes in the crocodile, in the holes. Oh, goodness grief. You know what I mean. I hope you do. Anyway, you know, these are supposed to be tied in there. They're, yeah, well, all of that is missing. So the fairies walked off with it. This is uh, the tassel. Um, I'm, I can't decide. I'll probably be adding some beads to it, some pearls. It looks a little bit lonely on itself there. So I'll be adding something to that too. So let's get into this book. So it's quite similar in style to the other one, but just this one has some gorgeous fabric on it. Isn't that just fabulous? I mean, look, isn't that great? This is from the same series. And I just made a little Wendy pouch here. And the Wendy pouch gives us a little text on the side to put two little secret tags. And then in here, I've got an ex Libris card. So you can put it wherever you want. And then Jibid's lovely letter about the junk journal. So that's in there. So of course, you know, it will look nicer when it's got this tied closer. So the, um, the cover itself is a bit big for the journal, but it's, it feels lovely and squishy and it just feels like Oh, yes, you know, um, how can I explain that? It feels like, yes, fill me with all your goodies. So, you know, yeah, this is what it is. It's a fill me with all your goodies kind of journal. It's got three signatures, as you can see, and they all lie extremely flat. And this as well is using, I used uh, Tracy Fox's Ula Chic Kit. And then uh, images from Pinterest, um, various uh, ephemera pieces that I had in my stash. So going into the beginning of the book, um, I put a paper bag here and just reduced an image from the kit and stamped it up a little bit. So you've got a pocket here and a pocket there. And I just put uh, a couple of pieces of ephemera. That's a tag from the kit. And I just did a little index card with a bit of a cluster up here. That's like a Jessica Rapp, Tracy Fox kind of thing. So I just put that in there. Let's try it this way, actually. There we go. And then over here, this image is from Pinterest. And then along the crochet lace up here, I just sewed on you know, buttons and sequins and some beads and a little charm. And I had a misprint or two, so I just decided to cut out some butterflies from those, add them on. These beautiful images are from the kit. Up in this tuck spot here, I've got a lovely playing card. Thank you, Rekka, for those. And a piece of ephemera as a journaling card. This is a vintage um, book page. I've just uh, stenciled some uh, stuff on there. <laughs> I can't remember the name in English. It's still escaping me. And I got some washi tape over here. This uh, little messy collage sewing, whatever it is, has got some bling, some lace, some paper. Everything's in there. And got another image from the kit. This is, uh, this envelope was something that Tracy had done separately. I, there were like the gray envelopes, but I went ahead and threw on some color, as you can see on the inside. So you can journal on the inside, did some stamping on the inside. And also did some gessoing. 
some stamping on the outside so that's how that turned out this is also an image from the kit but if you print it out it won't look like this because i added some stamps on there too and then we've got a doily on the back of that one a bit of lace some more stamping and a little tuck spot here so this is one of the background pages that she has in the kit this was a bit of uh, left over that i had from something else i just made a tuck spot out of this is from the kit and this image too as i reduced it from one of the pages and cut it out this tag these two tags are from the kit so i just backed them together and just made a little collage on the back of this one and we've got some stamping going on here. This is a vintage book page from Byron, and I just gessoed that. Little paper bag with a piece of note paper in it, and a piece of, yeah, wrapping paper from with designs from the uh, the epoch. This is um, a reduced page. You know, one of the. Uh, TN size pages reduced and I put it in there as a tuck spot and then there's also two little pockets in here and I stamped it up and punched it there. This is um, one of those uh, oiled up pieces of paper so it gets a bit translucent. I got the idea from Aristi, thanks Aristi, but I don't know who did it um, initially. And then going on out, we've got a pocket up here. Oh, I've got my fingernails, sorry. So, but this should go in there. It's just backed with paper, and I've got a little sticker up there. And there's some more stenciling. This is just some background paper that I had in my stash. This is uh, from the kit, all of this. And this is just something I found on Pinterest, and I thought it rather fits in perfectly color-wise. This is also a Pinterest image backed onto Tracy's wonderful background pages. And this is also an image from the kit with one of my fleur-de-lis stamps. Just some sewing going on here. And I paper clipped some ephemera on here just for some extra journaling space. A little butterfly sticker up there. And here as well, just little bits and bobs in there. Um, these can be added to wherever you want. There's also space up here as a tuck spot. Some sorry silk under this tuck spot here. Some vintage sheet music and then some washi tape here vintage lace and in this pocket we just have a little envelope with some ephemera in it for little extra secret notes à la française and we have a little collage up here love that color that gorgeous very luscious a couple of pieces of ephemera and another tap spot this one also made from a page rather than um a tux uh, rather than a pocket this one also has um this stuff stenciled on it i still haven't figured out the name some stamping <laughs> in the bag we've got some ephemera this is like an old postcard i love these paper bags and this is some vintage photo album, you know, separate page separator or protector's pages. Got the middle of a signature here. Little file folder there. A sticker here as an embellishment and some washi over here. Another cluster. And this folds out and we have a little pocket up here there's a little collage down here and the sticker up there and then here we got a little embellishment with some lace and a tuck spot so there's quite a lot going on in this uh, journal but 
there's also there's another tuck spot there there's also a lot of room to stick extra pages in there's a lot of uh, I'd stenciled this on and uh, stamped this on and here we go into the last signature so there's a tuck spot here under this image and I've just put a couple of pages of ephemera thin ephemera up there and there's another little bag there with some room journaling space digital ephemera washi tape up there some stamping going on here collage and stamping here here's some pattern paper that i just uh sewed on randomly little collage up here and then we get to the middle of the signature here as well just a couple of tea cards in here to show that there is a tuck spot there and you can fold it out if you uh, need more space another envelope is the same as the other one with journaling space inside it's just got this one's got the stamping and a little bit of a collage up at the top but otherwise it's the same and just a piece of note paper in there and this page folds out for extra journaling space and then up here we have this leaf with some sequins and beads sewn on all the way down just to add some interest some stamping going on on this uh, page too extra journaling space in this tuck spot and some stamping this folds out and this has been gessoed as well so you can feel that um, when you open it up and there's some washi tape there to add some interest. There's some room here in this little pocket. And there's another pocket here. And then we get to the end of the book. There's a little button here on this fabric ruffle. There's a little um, belly band here. And there's a pocket here with my little card at the back. So this is um, the second journal. Well, this is actually the main journal, but... That one was supposed to be the main journal. I do that so often. Um, but there's a lot of room for this one to grow. You can really stuff this one and there's going to be plenty of room for it to grow. So that's it. Uh, that's my design team project for Tracy Fox. On to the next ones. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And if you have any questions, uh, all my information is down below in the comment box. Thanks very much. Bye.